as a secret as old as her. What not a lot of people know about me is I actually have a daily longing. Where her family was when she was only seven years old. I don't know, like right before that. I don't know if it was like a week or and that's something that I definitely feel like I missed out on. Rachel Armiger has a secret as old as her DNA. I would definitely say that people think that my family is a typical, like, put-together kind of family. My dad works the 9 to 5 job, uh, comes home at night, and actually ends up doing more work. Uh, but I would say that basically we're, my parents, my parents are married and everything. I have two brothers, so we're pretty normal, I guess. Rachel is a senior at Towson University, majoring in electronic media and film. While dealing with film is anything but ordinary, Rachel has had a completely ordinary, positive upbringing in her family of five. Rachel's family consists of her 20-year-old twin brother, Paul Michael, also known as PM, her younger brother of 15, Noah, and her married parents, Melanie and Tom Merrikin. So basically, what not a lot of people know about me is I actually have a stepdad, who I refer to as dad right now because I've known him since I was probably like three or four. And then this is my biological dad right here. Rachel's biological father, Michael Armiger, passed when Rachel was just nine months old, leaving her mother, Melanie, to make a life for PM and Rachel as a single mother. Michael, known as Mike to his friends, died on a Friday of a heart attack after ending his foot patrol at Fells Point. His passing came two days after his 41st birthday. Right before he died, he had just gotten a physical, like, I don't know, like, right before that. I don't know if it was, like, a week or a few days or everything. And you would think that the doctor would be able to, you know, find something out, like, oh, your heart's not good or something. Rachel first realized just how extraordinary her family was when she was only seven years old. In second grade, my uh, teacher starts asking my twin brother and I about this. And she's like, oh, so basically your dad is your stepdad. And it kind of like took a minute because I've never thought of him as not being my dad. But yeah, he is my stepdad. And it really actually like finally it hit home then that he wasn't my real dad. Melanie and Tom were married April 1st, 1997. Tom works as an automobile mechanic at Boyle Buick in Bel Air, Maryland. Mike Armiger served as a police officer for 21 years. He was a decorated officer, winning two Policeman of the Year awards. There's a lot more things that I would like to know about him, but more like the things that you can't know about a person by like talking to other people. My stepdad, I like to refer to him as my dad, uh, is basically like a jack of all trades kind of guy. Like I literally do not think there is anything on this entire planet that he cannot fix. Like in a zombie apocalypse, he is the kind of guy that you would want there with you because he could like do anything, rig anything up, anything you needed. And basically like any time in my life that I've needed my car fixed, I got like a new TV or something, like he has always like selflessly like been there to like work on it, fix it, just like whatever. And I think that's really awesome. Tom has been to every Little League game, every rehearsal, and every other major event in Rachel's life. Rachel allows her imagination to wander about her biological father, Mike. Basically, the feeling that I have about not knowing my dad is basically longing. Um, I wish that I did know him because he seems like he's a really, really great person. And I think uh, I'll just always wonder about the unknown. You know, there's only so many things that I could find out about him through talking to family and friends and relatives and everything. And I would give anything to sit down and like have a conversation with him, even for just like five minutes. I will never understand like the essence of who he truly was unless I was to sit down and have like a conversation with him myself. And that's something that I definitely feel like I missed out on.